there is a Creole expression to walk together. Where life is hard, people depend upon and help each other. Haiti amalgamated different tribes in a common religion known as voodoo, so that man may pray together to praise the same moral principles and together reaffirm them. In Haiti, a divine spirit is called a loa. Legba is a loa who is the link between the visible mortal world and the invisible immortal realms. He is the means and avenue between them the vertical axis of the universe. As guardian of the sacred gateway, it is he who grants contact with the other Loa. Legba must be the first Loa to be ritually saluted if this is to be achieved. For this reason, the crossroads is the most important of all ritual figures. Whether drawn in flower on flat ground, or traced in the air. The sign of the crossroads is always the juncture where communication between worlds is established, where the traffic of energies and forces between them is set up. Through the center post, the potomiton, the gods enter. At its base, the Vevers are drawn. Around the center post, all ritual movements and dance revolve. rites are a basic African tradition in which the deities play a protective role. They are benevolent and paternal. who is an apprentice and assistant to the priest, carries a sword representing the guardian god of the temple. He is flanked by two flag bearers who represent the congregation. The priest, holding his sacred rattle, and the trio seem to engage in some strange mock battle. There is no question but that it is a competition between the power of the Loa and the congregation together against that of the Hungon. The Laplace bows and kisses the earth at the priest's feet as a mark of respect. The priest kisses the hilt of the sword. tops of the flags. From this action, we see the priest's responsibility towards the congregation, as well as towards the gods. And now another priest salutes the trio in the same manner. The Voodoo priest is called a Hungon, Hun meaning of the spirits, and Gon meaning chief, from the language of the Fon people of Africa. He gives advice concerning spiritual, as well as economic, political, and medical problems. A strong Hungon enjoys a quality and degree of respect which the Haitian extends to no one else. 
when two Hungans salute, they mirror each other with their sacred rattles. The rattle is a calabash covered with a loose web of clay beads and snake vertebrae with a bell attached. It is used to summon the loa and is a sign of priesthood. There are many subtle gradations of salutation and these indicate the relative authority of the persons involved. psychic phenomenon which occurs when the divinity becomes manifest. Terminology of voodoo, it is said that the loa mounts a person, or that a person is mounted by the loa. The metaphor is drawn from a horse and his rider, and the actions and events which result are the expression of the will of the rider. It is the center towards which all roads of voodoo converge. It is the point which one travels by the most visible and physical means, yet to the traveler it is itself invisible. travels across the sky. The primordial source of all life wisdom, at once the ancient past and the assurance of the future, the positive force which encircles the universe.
It is not the sea that is sacred, but the spirit of the sea who is divine. This ceremony celebrates the wedding of Agwe, sovereign of the sea, to the goddess of love. It is Agwe who is in a sense the ideal husband and lover, being as the sea is, a ready strength and deep peace. The ceremony is conducted by a female priestess called Mambo. It is perhaps the most elaborate of all ritual undertakings. Way holds offerings of cake, bottles of liqueur, and even champagne. Days of preparation are spent building and painting the raft before it is dedicated with love to Agwe. the sailboat which awaited us, its bright trimmings dancing in the wind. They sang, and the drums beat, and the trumpet and conch shell called over and over. The mumbo stood near the mast, sounding her rattle. They chanted songs in praise of Agwe, but especially, they repeated several times the most haunting song of all. Sina, Sina, Sina Dogweson, Sina Loge, Agwe Toroyo, protect your children. With these voices, borne by this melody, ruffling the waves of each of them, calling Agwe over the vast reaches of his domain. We are now directly over the sacred island beneath the sea where the souls of the dead go and also where the Loa live. When the water lay almost level with the rail, the men slid the bark onto the surface of the sea. As we all watched it silently, it seemed to hesitate to a stop. And then, as if a great hand had reached up from below and grasped it, it disappeared abruptly into the quiet water. Wudun has given woman, in the figure of Erzuli, exclusive title to that which distinguishes humans from all other forms, their capacity to conceive beyond reality, to desire beyond adequacy, to create beyond need. style among all these bodies which move with such homogeneity there may be one whose movements are exceedingly spectacular this is a sign that a loa arrives woman as the divinity of the dream, a 
the goddess of love, the muse of beauty. She is identified with the Virgin Mary as mother of man's myth of life. In a sense, she is that very principle by which man conceives and creates divinity. To man himself, she is as mistress. Ezele moves in an atmosphere of infinite luxury, a perfume of refinement. Her arrival pervades the very air. All anxieties, all urgencies vanish. The tempo of movements becomes more leisurely. Tensions dissolve and the voices soften. One has the impression that a fresh, cooling breeze has sprung up somewhere and that the heat has become less intense. Ogun is a loa of might, power, authority, triumph. He is in fact a hero type and often a political figure. Ogun can strengthen a devotee in ways of healing, prophecy, and magic. Gede, the god of life and death. That eternal figure in black, posted at the timeless crossroads at which all men and even the sun one day arrive. The cross upon a tomb is his symbol. He is keeper of the cemetery, the guardian of the history and heritage of the race. The future stems from the past, so life and death become one and the same. The Catholic litanies called Action de Grâce precede a voodoo ceremony. Libations are poured as a mark of respect, a first offering. It is a gesture of the hand inviting the gods. Je crois en Dieu le Père tout puissant, créateur du ciel et de la terre. Jésus Christ son fils unique, notre Seigneur qui a été conçu de cet esprit et en de la Vierge Marie, a souffert sous pompe de la taille et crucifié. A moi a été enseigné la descente aux enfers troisième jour. Il est ressuscité entre les morts. The chicken is passed over the head and shoulders of the devotee as if it were a large feather cloth to wipe away any impurity or evil. has been cleansed, the chicken is oriented to the cardinal points, after which it eats food which lies in the cornmeal drawing. When it eats that food, it becomes identified with the loa. This is a signal it may be sacrificed and accepted by the loa. The wings and legs are broken so that any impurities that it may have symbolically collected may not fly free. towards the death and blood of these sacrificial beasts is never morbid. 
the intent and emphasis of sacrifice is not upon the death of the animal. It is upon the transfusion of its life to the loa. For the understanding is that flesh and blood are of the essence of life and vigor, and these will restore the divine energy of the god. Similarly, the goat is offered to Gede. killed, it is castrated and its beard is cut off. The physical feasting of the Loa is at once the most common and the most important of the obligations of a worshiper. To have great power is to need great energy. And so the gods, like living matter, have an unrelenting need for food if their life energies are to be maintained. The spirit of Gede is mounting the body of the priest. He's known to be a trickster and delights in playing games to confuse others. Here, he pretends to hand out money. He may be playing the clown, but if you will call him aside, and humbly ask him in all seriousness an important question. He will generally answer you thoughtfully and carefully, and it will usually be the best possible advice. Clown though he be and trickster, he is also history, the experience from which the living learn. And in this role, he is as deeply responsible and trustworthy as he is bizarre in his other aspects. also a god of fertility and protector of children. The women bump against him to ensure healthy children. As guardian of the history of the race, the continuity of its lower lines, he is particularly interested in seeing that a child does not die before it has developed a soul which can be immortal. Azaka, the god of agriculture, appears in the form of a work peasant. He's a very hard worker and is frequently feasted by the grateful farmers. The actions and utterances of the possessed person are not of his own expression, but of the gods. In this way, the god gives instruction and exercises his authority. Gede poses most frequently as a poor wandering beggar. He often arrives unasked at a ceremony for another loa. Banda is a suggestive dance, usually beaten by the request of a loa, often Gede, who feels like doing a gay dance.
of the participants are receiving the spirit of Gede. ready to depart. It is the custom to remove all accoutrements of the guard when he leaves. As they reach for his glasses, Gede says, don't touch my glasses, I'm not finished. intimate relation between Loa and worshipper, the dependence, as it were, of the Loa upon the very blood of the serviteur for existence and transmission, has been the guarantee of the Loa's life. the hat and bag on another person, Azaka transmits his spirit. The Loa greets the other with a handshake. Through the left hand, psychic contact is made. because the god likes to dance in bare feet. greets with a double handshake. The spin takes her on a special journey which inevitably leads to possession. Sometimes there is a period of physical movement which is very intense and seems violent. This reflects the inner conflict of the soul of the person with the loa over the possession of the physical body. Once the Loa is installed, this conflict resolves and subsides. It is the God who is the virtuoso, not the human being. And indeed, a Loa is capable of putting its horse through paces which the individual in a normal state could never achieve. Yeah, 
God departs the body and the man returns to the physical world. Congo tribe of Africa, which came to Haiti, is known for its elegance and style. The tribesmen brought their particular rituals, their drum beats and dances. These have a strong influence in secular music. In fact, their roots hold firmly in modern day jazz. sound of the drum brings out the movements of the dancing. It is the drumming which fuses together the 50 or more individuals into a single body, making them move as one, as if all had become linked on the thread of a single pulse. This danse de réjouissance is a dance of celebration Although dances may follow a ceremonial, their form and purpose is religious, not secular. Loa represent the protective guardian powers. The Petro Loa are the patrons of aggressive action. cult was born out of a cosmic rage. It is the rage against the evil fate which the African suffered because of his enslavement. The energy from that rage enabled him to regain his freedom by winning the revolution against the Napoleonic forces. is run at full speed around the eight sides of the temple with everyone in full pursuit. The chase ends at a given tree in the courtyard. The sacrifice of the bull is the ultimate feast for the god, an offering which as sheer nourishment will most invigorate the loa. The cross is the symbol of life and death, the axis of the physical cycle of generation and the metaphysical cycle of resurrection. Life for Gede is a destiny, the inevitable and erotic in man. He is lord of that eroticism, which being inevitable is beyond good and evil, 
and beyond the elations and despairs of love. Of this, he is neither proud nor ashamed. If anything, he is amused by the eternal persistence of the erotic and by man's eternally persistent pretense that it is something else. than possessed by divine spirits. The spirit of Gede, however, the god of life and death, does preside over the spring festival called Rara. suggests a hunter or warrior festival, the baton perhaps replacing weapons.
now celebrates a triumph over death, of spring life over the winter, which was death for the earth. A time for putting the past behind, of excitement, of hope and promise of a fresh start and a clean beginning. fantasies of the people can come to life in this period of joyous festivities. And through all this, the spirit of life, Papagede, reigns supreme. Mm -hmm. 